European painting at the turn of the 20th century was akin to a laboratory. Artists experimented in search of a stylistic language of their own. Painters were eager for a change from the stultifying standards upheld by the academies. They began leaving their studios and painting en plein air. Rome was no longer the epicenter of the art world. It had been replaced by Paris, city of lights and bohemian living. The impact of the French capital on art cannot be underestimated. The city spawned the creation of new subject matter, which were treated with a variety of innovative techniques. The artist too was given a new position. No longer did they have to meet the demands of their bourgeois clientele, for Paris allowed for artists to seek out new markets with their independent, uncompromising artistic freedom. Painters from all over Europe, particularly Spain, were drawn to Paris. But the history of art is a reflection of changing perceptions. Artists now considered great old masters would have been virtually unknown to us at the turn of the 20th century. And perhaps, if the coin landed on its reverse side, the Spanish artists from this time period would have been the household names. The French capital during the Bella Epoch was a period of elegance, progress and innovation. The period saw the construction of the Eiffel Tower, the Metro, and the completion of the Paris Opera. Three lavish universal exhibitions in 1878, 1889, and 1900 brought millions of visitors to Paris to sample the latest innovations in commerce, art, and technology. It is little wonder then that the artists in this show, mostly from Catalonia, were inspired by it. Colnaghi's exhibition, The Golden Age of Spanish Modern Art, running from July 3rd to September 25th, seeks to offer a reevaluation of Spanish art at the turn of the 20th century. This exhibition is comprised of 14 works by 12 artists, all of whom trained at the academies of Barcelona, but, like Picasso, were drawn to Paris, the epicenter of the art world. We hope you can visit us this summer in London as we place these artists back on equal footing with the other great European painters of their day.